Hey guys, today I'm going to talk to you about Polar Camping Stuff, a company based out of Portland, Oregon, specializing in the world's highest standard of stuff, otherwise really awesome camping gear. I've got two products for you guys today, the two-man tent in orange, which also comes as a one-man tent version, and also in a camouflage colorway. Then I've also got the knapsack, which is essentially a sleeping bag, and I have it in the color green. Just doing this video to show you guys a little bit more about Polar and specifically the tent, um, setting it up from beginning to end, as well as going into some of the features. So this is what the tent looks like when it's all put away. Really easy, compact tent, uh, easy to carry on everywhere. Comes with 12 stakes, which are really sturdy, very well made, love the logos on the side there. Really awesome quality of these guys. Also comes with poles, obviously. Poles are behind me right now. Uh, really easy snap together system. These are the guy ropes, used for really windy conditions or if you just want some extra stability, they attach to your tent fly. Also comes with a handy little repair kit, so if you ever need anything repaired on your tent, everything you need is in here to quickly patch things up. All the good stuff. Finally, this thing comes with an instruction manual that is sewn in onto the inside of your tent bag, so you'll never lose the instructions. So here I'm just showing you guys once again what's in the bag. What I'm pulling out right now is the fly. Then we have the poles, as well as obviously the tent itself. And you've got your stakes. And you guys are more than welcome to shove all that stuff back in there if you're in a rush or if you're just messy. Um, but you can also fold it up really nicely into a proper little package. So getting started here, I'm just going to speed this up for you and I'm going to go through it really quickly and then go back and go through it in detail for you. So first of all, I would suggest before staking anything down, go find yourself a footprint if you know what that is. It's a little uh, tarp kind of thing that goes between the grass of wherever you're camping and your uh, tent system. So just to protect it, keep it from elements of all that kind of stuff, uh, prolonging the life of your tent itself. Otherwise, yeah, go ahead and stake in your tent base. Set up the poles, clip it all in, really easy pole system, takes about 10 minutes to set this whole tent up which is awesome, the fly is very easy to put on as I'm showing you here. Also some pretty cool features about this tent that I'll quickly explain, it has two doors which is sweet, uh, you can exit or leave one open out of both, you can roll up both windows, you can keep them completely open, lots of options there as well as it has really cool graphics on either side of their typical polar logo, as well as it has two windows. Um, so for natural light, if you want some nice daylight in your orange tent or camouflage tent, perfect little windows there. Just one thing to be sure, don't pull the tent fly too tight. I believe I pulled it a little bit too tight here and it can make your tent a little wonky from the top. So just make sure you're not pulling anything too tight on the corners. So this is what your tent looks like when it's all set up. Really easy setup system, can do it alone, or if you've got somebody with you, is also easy to do. I'm just going to show you guys here staking things down. You just want to pull things taut, throw that through the loop. If you've got a rock nearby, definitely use that to stake that in. If not, you can use your hands. This is a bit more detail about the pole system. It's a snap together system. Really, really simple. All the poles are already joined together through elastic little ropes in between the poles. You can definitely set this up alone. This is what the poles look like in between them. If you're doing this alone, I would suggest putting the two ends into one of the sides of your tent base and then laying it out flat so you can kind of see where everything's going. From there, I would suggest lifting up one side, like so, and then going around the other side of your tent and putting those in the corresponding little holes there. This pole system is very, very simple. It also is very sturdy, but very bendable. So if it feels like you're bending things too much, you're not. It's just very, very sturdy. Also to make sure that you have your poles right way up, there's two sides, a top and a bottom to the pole system. So from here, once you've got everything down in the base, take your crossbars, and you're gonna wanna take the top part of your tent, so essentially your roof, and put that in the little hole there. And I was doing this for the first time at five in the morning at a campsite at a festival, and I thought I would need another person, but I actually figured out during this shoot that you can just hold one side, like so, and walk around the side of your tent so you can do this all on your own without having any help if you are alone. Super simple, so just go around the other sides of your tent repeating that kind of process of walking around the side of your tent, and that is done. So once you've got that finished, you can go around the sides, and there's three clips on either side of your tent. Clip those guys in. 
takes about 10 minutes, I was saying before, super, super simple. Also, when you're putting your fly up, make sure that you put little Velcro pieces on the sides of your tent. There's also Velcro for the closing of your doors, as well as there is the placements to attach the guy ropes. And these are the windows, so as I was saying, super awesome idea. Who has windows on their tent? That is a great idea. Inside you've got two clips for carabiners or lights. You've got little bags to store your little stuff you don't want to lose. As well as zippers are super sturdy, good mesh, no bugs get inside. This is what the tent looks like if you've pulled out one side of the doors. Very, very light tent as well. Super easy to maneuver. Really, really awesome light quality tent. As well as it was raining uh, three out of the five days I was camping with this tent for the first time, so I didn't know what to expect, but it's very, very water repellent. Uh, as long as you've got everything pulled taut, the water will just roll off and you're good to go. No rain in sight. So taking down this tent is just as easy as it is to put it up. You can shove everything back in the bag if you're in a rush. Just make sure again that you put the poles in first so you got everything fitting nicely in there. And that is the tent system, so super awesome tent. Next up we have the sleeping bag, or the knapsack as they call it. Can't say enough good things about this. I would live in this thing if that was possible. It's so versatile, very comfortable, really really warm, definitely a good purchase. Um, you can move your arms in and out, or you can zip up the arms so you, if you really want to be snug in that. Also, you can cinch up the waist, as I'm showing here, so you can have full movability through it. You don't feel like you're going to fall over. You don't have to inch around in your sleeping bag. As well as love the detail on the collar here as you zip it up, the Camp Vibes logo again, and as well pockets with a little headphone thing so you can feed your headphones through there and it comes up into the top of your sleeping bag so you can have music. Super awesome features in this thing. On the zipper it has a little chin guard so you won't get scratched by the zipper and really fun little pulleys on the hood. Again, I can't say enough good things about this. It has so many uses after surfing, camping, laying around your apartment. Love the little hand pockets as well with snap closures. They've really thought of everything in this thing. I love it. It comes in three different colors as well. So guys, that was it. That's the review of the two-man tent and the knapsack from Polar Camping Stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.